Why do you keep ignoring all my insults? Are you the dumbest thing ever? Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to XOXO Droplets. So, the creators of A Foretold Affair, which I have done a Let's Play before if you haven't seen it, um, are releasing a new game that is planned to be free to play if everything goes well. But this is the demo for it. So you're playing as a new girl who, I, I, I believe she moves into uh, a new town and a new school or whatever. And she has an opportunity with these six gentlemen floating in the air uh, to be love interests. And apparently it's very it's a very humorous game, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, but before we get started, if you guys would like to check out the Kickstarter, uh, there's a link in the description. So far, they're all adorable, by the way. I'm just like, want to let everybody know that. Please select a ribbon which you'd like to start with. You can purchase the ribbon, you don't select from the accessory. Oh, wait. What? That we can wear? Ooh, okay, I like the purple one. I need like a really stupid name. I kind of want to give her Lulu. Let's name her Lulu. It's not a stupid name, but I do like that name. This is Final Fantasy X. You guys know what I'm talking about. Ooh, Lulu Price. Cause Chloe Price. All right, Lulu Price. That's her name. All right, we're gonna go with that. I'm still stiff. Uh, what is? I don't know. Dicks. Like I don't know what that's supposed to be. But anyway, I'm still a little stiff from the freaking eternal bus right here. And I don't even know where I'm going. Ugh. This better be better than the high school section. Uh. Hello, Lulu. Whoa. Who's this? <laughs> uh. Oh. Who are you? Hi. I'm Nurse Lid. Nice to meet you. All right. All right. Why are you here? I hope it's to see me. Yes, it is. Really? What do you need with me, Mr. Nurse? Well, first, I wanted to welcome you to St. Sarah Bell Boarding School. Jesus, alright. Thanks. And actually, I'm not just a nurse. I'm also the supervisor for your group. Do you remember hearing about that? You mean the after-school thing I have to join? That's right. Every once in a while, you, me, and some other students will be getting together after class just to hang out. Uh-huh, that's a pretty- that's a pretty weird required activity, you know. Also, I like how the, the, the sprites are blinking. That's pretty cool that there's animation on it. <laughs> I guess it is. Actually, I've got a question about that. Yes, what is it? I got a little list with the names of other students in my group, and it sounds like they're all guys. Is that true? Yes, it is. I hope that's not a problem. No, that won't be a problem at all. <laughs> She's like, yes! <laughs> I'm glad. One more question. Yes? Are they good looking guys? Uh, I don't think I'm qualified to answer that question. <laughs> yeah, as like a teacher and an adult, you can't fucking say that. Um, or allowed to. Fine. But hey, at least they know there'll be cute guys there. Hmm. <laughs> thank you. No problem. So did you just come by to say hi or... No. Actually, I'm here to escort you to the principal's office. So we can get everything sorted. Then after, I was wondering if you'd like to take a short tour around the school with me. That sounds fantastic, Lynn. Can I call you Lynn? I wouldn't have it any other way. Perfect. Let's go. Well, that was amazingly boring. I'm sorry. That's alright. It wasn't your idea to have much paperwork. But it's all done and taken care of. Now, I hope you're excited to see the rest of the high school section. There's so much to see. The school, of course. The sports arena. The nurse's office. And there's even a little lounge. Wonderful, just lead the way. Of course, let's start with the rest of the building here. And here's our last stop, the girls' dorm. This is where you'll be staying from now on. You don't say. I thought I'd be staying somewhere other than the girls' dorm. Oh right, that's the- that was redundant, wasn't it? <laughs> no worries, just a little joke there, Lynn. <laughs> oh right, well, there are two girls' dorm buildings, one for single rooms and one for double rooms. You got a single room for your dorm building, it's right behind me. Thanks, I'd be lost without you. I'm glad to be of assistance. Now, there's one more thing I need to tell you about. And that is... The group meetings, of course. Yes, of course. Hmm. So, we'll be having our first meeting just in a few days, on Monday. During the tour, I showed you those little rooms with tables and chairs. Uh-huh, I remember. Good, we'll be meeting in the room number three right after school. Groovy. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Groovy. I'll send you a text the day of so, don't you, so you don't forget. I would never. Well, just in case. Okay, that's everything then. I'd show you to your room, but I'm not allowed to go into the dorms, a girl's dorm unless it's an emergency. I'm gonna be so lonely without you. Can, can that count as an emergency? No, sorry. 
Okay, bye! What's the flirting with Lynn? Okay. I don't know how old uh, Lynn is or the students in here, but if they're under 18, they, they shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> You'll be fine, and you have my number, so you can call me if you need anything. That's right, you did give me your number earlier, didn't you? Cool. You know your room number? Yes. And you have your key? Yes. And you keep the paperwork the principal gave you? Yes, I thought you said that was everything. I guess that was just an exaggeration. I can see that. Are you sure you don't want to come with me to my room? I'm sure. Take care, Lulu. I'll see you soon. Bye, Lynn. I look forward to that. Saturday. All right. <sighs> oh, I like <laughs> I like the fucking wallpaper on the desktop. Oh my god. Windows XP background. Oh my goodness. I did not expect it to feel so weird sleeping here. That better not last. What do I do now? Get food, I guess. When did Lynn say the cafeteria opened? Maybe I should give him a call. No, no, no. I wouldn't want him to think I'm a weirdo or something. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. I think she's already a weirdo. <laughs> I kind of like it, though. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to check it out myself. <sighs> oh, can we date her? Who is this? I want to date her. Who's this? Who's this? Who is this? <laughs> hey, you. Me? Yes? What is it? You're new here. Okay. Nice to meet you. I'm Alicia. You're just introducing yourself, then? That's right. Why? I introduce myself to every new guy and girl. How do you manage that? It's not hard as it looks. If, if you say so, I do. So, are you ever going to tell me your name? I'm Lulu. Huh. Now that seems familiar. Have we met before? I've never been here. Yeah, but it's not like I was born in this place. Fair enough. Where did you come from? Well, it was kind of a while ago when I was like 10. Wait, you're right. I did know you! You were the girl that went to the boarding school! Uh, yeah, that was me. We were neighbors. Right, that said, you were my neighbor before I came here. Yes, that's what I just said. Oh, but oh man, I can't believe that you're still here. What'd you think happened? I just disappeared off the face of the earth? Maybe. You didn't exist anymore as far as I was concerned. <laughs> uh, what were those nicknames again? Jellybean? What? Jellybean and Button. Those were our nicknames back then. Oh yeah, it's been that long. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yep, and now you go here too. Uh-huh. Life is strange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why'd you end up here? Actually, I wanted to go to boarding school since you told me about it when you were going to one. I finally convinced my parents to give the okay. It looks like it only took six years. Better late than never, I always say. Very true. Hey, have you gotten in a group yet? I have. Really? Am I in it? Nah, I don't know of any of the guys in it, but they're all guys, and Lynn's the supervisor. <laughs> Seriously? You're in that group? What's wrong with that group? <laughs> Sorry, but you're in that- you're in that group? I don't know, why shouldn't I be in that group? Cause that group is where all they stick the lousy people. They have a whole group just dedicated to jerks of the school? Well, that's not exactly it. That group is for students that didn't want to put- who didn't want to be put in other groups because they're too hard to make friends with and are super unlikable. Oh, it's she's saying damn, okay? I thought she was saying dick earlier. All right, what the hell's wrong with me? Damn, I am so friendly. So my reputation precedes me. I wonder if my parents warned them. Maybe it's a mistake. Yes, it must be. Should we talk to the principal? No, no, it's all right. I'll just let it slide. If you say so, I do. Seriously, though, how could the school have a group like that? Wouldn't the parents sue them or... Or something if some student of some school deemed their kids unfriendable. The school didn't actually say that, it was just hard to figure it out. That seems like a pretty weak excuse. I guess, but it's not like those guys don't know already that they're the worst. I doubt they'll complain about their about it to their families. Heck, some of them are already even proud of it. Oh sorry, you're being with those guys, huh? Yep, for the rest of the year. Sorry again. Hey, at least Lynn's nice. Yeah, Lynn. Nice and attractive. Acceptable to me. Oh my god. <laughs> Pfft, okay. Hmm, Alicia, have you seen these jerks, right? Are they hot? Some of them are. Hooray! Another victory for me! Sure, that's something, but didn't we just go over their personalities and how they're the worst? <laughs> Who cares about person- Oh no, oh no, oh no. No! No, 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 no. No! It doesn't matter if they're good looking. If they're a total asshole, they're not worth it, man. Lulu, get your act together, goddammit. Most people? 
Most people are liars. If that's all you really need, these guys should work for you. I'm excited. If they're really that bad, no one else is gonna go want them. For so they're all for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, this girl needs to fucking chill. Jesus. That's looking on the bright side. You know, if you really want to date one of those guys, I think I can help. Really? I kind of watch all the people around me, and those guys are especially fun to watch. From a distance, at least. If something changes with them, I can let you know. Which means... I'll know if they like you or not. Oh, that'd be perfect. What a pal you are, Alicia. It's nothing. I'm gonna be keeping track of things like that anyway. That's a little bit weird, but I'm not complaining. Here, let me give you my number. If you want to, if you want an update, just give me a call. I will. Thanks a bunch. Well, I'll see you around. Bye, JB, and welcome to the school. Bye. Thanks. I like Alicia, though. She's pretty cute. Man, I just love how things always work out for me. Sunday. I like how it goes by day by day. It's pretty cool. Okay, okay. School starts tomorrow. This is my last chance for a while to find cool places to go. There's gotta be some worthwhile shops and junk around here. But where to find them? <gasps> Who's this? She's cute too! Look at her hair! Okay. Find what? Oh, hello. How long have you been there? A little bit. What are you looking for? Somewhere to go other than this school, whoever you are. I'm Missy! What an odd name you have! That's so rude! I'm Lulu, by the way. Thanks! So, you're looking for a, the Triangle 3? What's that? And more importantly, why does it have a- Why does it have a stupid name? The Triangle 3 are three main shops of SS Bites- Um, SS Bites go-to. Go SS Bites? You can't be serious. I'm totally serious! Wow, is every name you- SS Bites come up with the dumbest thing ever? Lulu's so rude! What the hell? You can't say that! Hey, since you don't know, want me to tell you about them? And Missy's just like so, like, you know, understanding, like, she's not even, like, fighting- Yo, I would, like, fucking punch Lulu at this point, <laughs> cause, like, what the heck? She's so rude! Why do you keep ignoring all my insults? Are you the dumbest thing ever- Are you the dumbest thing ever, too? Cause you're worth it. What? Are you trying to sell me shampoo? When it comes to people, my senses are never wrong about- are never wrong, and right now my senses are telling me that you're worth talking to. Seriously? So I can say whatever I want and you're just gonna keep talking to me anyways? Uh-huh. That does sound pretty dumb, you know. Do you want to go with me to Triangle 3? I can show you around. I guess. I don't really have any of the better options. Cool, let's go. Here's stop number one, the bookstore. A bookstore? Huh, that's not what I would have expected. Most people don't actually buy books. <laughs> oh yeah? What else does it have? You'll see, come on in. I like Missy, she's cute! Hey Romeo, where art thou? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, she got this fucking butt chin, dude! He has a nice jawline though. Ah, what a pleasure is it to be called by one such as this. I don't know what kind of accent I'm doing here, but I'm just gonna try. How may I be of assistance, my fair flowers? Um, for starters, could you move a few feet back? <laughs> At your command! Who is this person? He's Romeo. He works here on the weekend. It's a joy to be your acquaintance. What, pray tell, shall I call you? Lulu is fine. Wonderful! Alright, well, we don't really need any help, so you can just go do whatever it is that you do here. Say it, and it is so... That guy is a little bit weird. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? He's something. I'm not sure what- I'm not sure what the something is, but it's something. So, what does this place have again? It's got all sorts of cool things, like like really awesome magazines and supplies and that, kind of, and that sort of stuff. There's something here for every type of person at the school, and that's what makes it so special. Interesting. You should come back and look around sometime, but for now, let's go! Bye, Romeo! Farewell! Yeah, bye. Okay, moving on to the next stop. Is there a crazy person at the next place too? Uh, kind of. He's crazy in his own way. Oh, good? Here we are. Now this store is a bunch of stuff. It's the best place to go if you're looking for something for a specific person. Hey, I like some of this junk. See? Hello, is there anything I can do for you? Hi, Trent! Oh my god, this, this guy, he has like a... I like how he popped his collars up, but alright. Hello, Missy, and you are? I'm Lulu. Nice to meet you, my name is Trent, I'm the manager here. He's also the cashier on weekends. <laughs> True, though only when it's busy. Do you need help finding anything today? We're good. Just looking. All right. 
Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Thanks for coming in and have a good day. He's very polite. That's very nice. So yeah, that's Trent. You'll probably see him whenever you come here. He's always working. Neat, I guess. Yeah. Now let's go to the last stop. Let's go to the last stop in the Triangle 3. Don't call it that in front of me. She's so I don't know if I like the main character because she's kind of rude. I don't know. We'll see how the rest of the demo goes. Hello? Hi, Missy. <gasps> Whoa! She's adorable! Hi, Kala! I'm glad- I'm so glad you're here! This is my new friend, Lulu. Why are you talking to that child? Cause this is the last place in the Triangle 3! I figured considering we went in, but it doesn't have to- But that doesn't answer my question. Whatever. What do they got in this place? Uh, no. Not the store. Kala. The child? A child is one of the most popular things for the high schoolers to visit? I'm sorry, Kala. She's new. She doesn't know. Okay. So, Kali here is really amazing. She's psychic. Seriously? Yes. She can make it She can make it so that you get to spend time with whoever you want. It's crazy. Uh-huh. Just give it a try sometime, you non-believer. You'll see. If you say so, do, you don't do your little luck thing for free, do ya, kid? Nuh-uh. Five or fifty dollars. You also have to tell her your horoscope. It's an important part of rearranging your energy. Honestly, how could you believe something so stupid? Uh, no offense, small girl. Okay. Right, well, I think I've got it now, so we'll be going. Uh, bye bye come again. I'll fix your look if you if you bring me a buck and a few more. Thanks. This is really random, this place. <laughs> that was a tad weird. I can't believe you insulted Kala like that. What if she ruins my luck as punishment? You should go back and ask for forgiveness. I don't think she minds, and if she ruins your luck, I'll pay five bucks to get it fixed, all right? All right. That's all the three spots then? Yeah, there are other places, but uh, these ought to be the enough for you to get started. I guess, but they're not really date spots. Truth. You can also go on dates uh, at the school though, at least it's free. <sighs> don't worry, I'm sure you'll be okay. Just live your life, try new things, you'll find places to go. Thanks, I'll do my best. Cool. Before I go, is there anything else you want to know? No. Wait, actually I do have something. What is it? You seem like you're on the up and up around here. The thing is, my parents want me to get along and fit in at the school, but I don't really care about that. What should I do? Oh, that's super easy. Just manage the clicks. Uh, what? You see? Pretty much everybody in is in one of the six cliques, so you don't have to worry about individual people, unless you want to be really popular. If you just want to be accepted in general, you've got to worry about our cliques as a whole. And how do I do that? Just hang around them. That's it? Yeah, but you're gonna have to spend time with all of them. Why? Because they'll dislike you if you don't, and if one clique hates you, the other will start having problems with you too. If every clique hates you, everybody in the school will know. And if my parents find out, they'll make me go back home. Saki, well if you get really good with one of the cliques, they'll always like you forever, and they ought to be enough for your mom and pop. Alright, so be be okay with every clique, or be a total in with their, with one clique. You got it. But if you're aiming for one clique, if you're aiming for one clique, you'll still have to worry about all the others until you do get, get with them. Oh, and you should totally try getting a boyfriend out of one of the cliques. As long as he's not a major scumbag, a boyfriend would definitely help you out with your with your thing. That's actually useful. You can go now. That's all I need. Is it really? Why? You got something else? Yep, here's my number. Really? Just like that? Wow, I'm getting everybody's number. Call me if you want to know how to stand with the cliques and their main members. You can tell that kind of thing? Yeah, and now that's everything. Bye, Lulu. Okay. Uh, okay, this is weird. <laughs> I made a useful friend today. I'm such a natural at this boarding school lifestyle thing. Uh, how do I get back to the school from here? Why didn't she ask her that? Like, oh my god. Oh yay, I got the, I got a text from Lynn. I wonder what that's about. Good afternoon, Lulu. I hope that you're ready to meet the group because our first meeting is about to start. Please don't be late. Well, I better get a move on then. I hope I remember where the meeting room is. He said room three in the lounge, right? Uh, what are you doing here, Lynn? Uh, ah, hi, Lulu. I'm glad I ran into you. Well, you were right in front of the girls' dorm. Chances are good if you if you would have run into me eventually. 
<laughs> right. I meant before you l left for the meeting. Something up? No, I was just worried that you could lost. So I thought we could go together. Aw, oh, and here, I was just worrying that I might be not be able to find my way. What a prince you are! I see, so that's alright with you then? Oh, of course, let's go! Wonderful! Hey, you know what? Maybe we should hold hands too so we don't get separated. No! <laughs> I think we'll be alright. Too bad. Oh, hey! There's the other members! This guy looks fucking bored out of his mind. <laughs> also, I like this dude's hair. So, these are my group mates, huh? I think I can work with this. Hello everyone, welcome to our first group meeting. It's great that you're here that you're all here. Now we can get started right away. What exactly are we supposed to be doing? I don't know, but I think we should introduce ourselves before getting into anything else. Why? We know each other already. Unfortunately. <laughs> she doesn't. Oh. He's right, introductions are the first thing on our agenda. We'll go around the room and take turns. Who do you think should go first, Len? How about we go in order of who's been here the longest? I think that's fair. And are we supposed to- and what are we supposed to say? Your name, of course, and then you can answer a few questions about yourself. It'll be where you came from before you enrolled here, how long you've been here, naturally, and something interesting about yourself. That's not a question. True, but we have to include it anyway. Alright, now everyone take a seat except for the first person introducing himself. You all- you all know when it's your turn, right? Yup. I'm taking the rest of your science as a yes, okay? Let's get started. Groupmate 1, please stand up and introduce yourself. Who's the- oh, it's this dude. Eh, my name's Everett. Full name, please. My name- my name is Everett Gray, I came from SoCal, I've been here since I was a kid, and because I've been here that long, I know everything there is to, about that place. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask anyone except me, because I have no patience left for people like you! <laughs> what the hell? That's not a very good detail about yourself. Would saying I don't want to be here would have worked better for you? Not really, I think we can already tell. Well, obviously, this is- <laughs> well, obviously, this is all for me anyways, and I say that's fine, but I do have a question for you, Everett. Mm-hmm. Could you be more specific of, like, how long you've been here? Your answer's pretty vague. Since kindergarten when I was five, is that enough for you? Wow, seriously? So you've, like, never lived in a real world before? This is a boarding school, not an ivory tower. And since wh when was a public school the real world? Do you pay taxes? <laughs> Ooh, someone's touchy. You've been going here for a while too, huh? I have. Go ahead and pat yourself on the back for that. I'm betting it's pretty rare for you to get something right. And the way you dodge the question. <laughs> yes, and he has been here for a while, in fact. It it's his turn next. Why don't you introduce yourself? You can sit down over it. You don't have to tell me twice. Nate Lawson, I came from New York. I can't do a New York accent, I'm sorry. I enrolled a couple of months after it ever did. And... Come on, Nate, there must be something about you that's at least a little interesting. No, I guess there isn't. My intro's done. Alright? You know, Nate is a very active- is very active in a lot of after-school activities. How nice. <sighs> okay, you're next. Please stand up and introduce yourself. No problem. I'm Shiloh Fields. Nice to meet you. I've been here since my second year of middle school and I really like hats. <laughs> okay, we can kind of tell with your hat on your head. Thanks, Shiloh. Though you forgot to say where you came from. Ah! <laughs> I forgot. I came from Mon Montana. I didn't always live there. I don't live there anymore. Me and my mom live here now. That's great. Next. Fine. Wow! I don't like the main character. She's kind of rude. I don't know if I like that. I know it's supposed to be like a, like a comedic kind of Otome game, but I don't know. Fine. Please sit down, Shiloh, and let the next person come to the front. Sure thing. Hello, my name is- My name is Bay Pion. I, I, I hope I'm saying this guy's name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. And what were the questions again? I wasn't paying attention at all. <laughs> how lucky and expected for you. If you weren't paying attention at all, how did you know it was your turn? Is that one of the questions I have to answer? Not if you don't want to. The required questions are your name, where you came from, how long you've been here, and something interesting about yourself. The last one isn't a question, you know. I know. Well then, let's do this again. Bay Pion, Florida, since last year, and no one in, in the school likes me. Whoa, okay. Oh, Bay. <laughs> That's a little harsh. Maybe, but it's true. It's not like I mind. I wouldn't want these people to like me anyway. 
That's not true, Bay. I'm sure there are people who like you. I like Bay. Hmm. Well, there you go. I figured you were exaggerating. What? No one tell her it's cute this way. What is it? Yeah, Lynn, what is it? Shiloh, uh, likes being nice. So he's a liar? Close enough. Alright, that's, let's not gang up on Shiloh. Instead, let's have another introduction. Please sit down, Bay, and you know who st to stand up next. Gladly. <laughs> I don't- <laughs> Oh my god, these characters are a little bit questionable for me right now. Jeremy King, this town, since spring lot this year. There isn't anything interesting about me. <laughs> okay? Jeremy, please stand back up. There's plenty of interesting things about you. People aren't interesting to hear about unless the people listening decide that it's interesting. And none of you are going to find anything about me interesting. So there's nothing interesting about me. <sighs> Fine, you can sit down. Jeremy is a very well-read. Good to know. Next, please introduce yourself. Well, we can't move on if you don't introduce yourself. I don't care. Fuck you, I don't have all day. Lynn, you introduce him. I, I do it myself, but I don't know anything about him. Well, alright. Will you at least stand up and, uh, as I introduce you? <sighs> Fine. Y you're giving up there, Lynn? Of course not, but baby steps. His name is Pran Taylor. He's also already lived in this town. He enrolled earlier this year in this spring, uh, this year in spring, and he's a talented artist. Neat. Yes, your turn. Finally. My name is Lulu Price. I'm from Oregon. Oh my god! He, she's from Oregon and I gave her the Price last name. Fate. <laughs> I've been here for a few days and I'm currently single. Hint, hint. <laughs> okay, introductions are done. Thank you for all who participated. Not all of this participated. Is it over yet? What about you, Lynn? You didn't do an introduction. No, you can't leave and I introduced myself to her already. If you aren't leaving, then what are we doing? Good question. I actually need to speak for, to you a bit. I'd like to explain where, when we are going to have these meetings. Brace yourselves. We're going to have meetings like this every other month, but we've got to skip the, the one that actually happened during the midsummer because there will be things later on. There will be other things going on. That's it? Isn't that the f only five meetings? For one year, yes. That can't be right. It is, essentially. That sounds incredibly suspicious. Just keep an eye on your phones for the text from me. <sighs> so, are we done here? Not yet. We have to do something other than introduce ourselves. Cool, what? Hmm, I'm thinking of taking a little break from speaking as a group. Why don't you all go off and chat one-on-one -on -one for a while? If nothing else, this will be a chance for a more personal introduction. Do we have to talk to somebody? Please try. No promises. Right. Well, go on, have fun. Oh, damn, I have to actually pick one. I don't know who, like, their introductions, it's like, because, like, uh, who is it? Alicia said they're very unlikable. And, like, again, there's nothing wrong with that, but just, like, the way that they introduce themselves, I was just kind of like. I don't feel anything for these characters yet, you know what I mean? Hi, Nate, wanna talk? No. Oh, come on, don't tell me you're still mad about those little comments I made earlier. I was just kidding. That's not it. Then what is it? I'm not looking to make friends, obviously. And I think this whole group thing was a waste of time. But you haven't even given me a chance. So? Ow. What did I ever do to you? It's not you, it's me. That's the weakest excuse ever. I mean, I don't need friends and I definitely don't need more people wanting to talk to me. Really now? You're just so popular you can't even handle more than one person being part of your life? Yeah, that's part of it. Come on. I get that you just got here, so let me just explain something to you. There isn't anyone in the school with more to do or more people wanting their time. You're serious? You're popular? Why? You can even think of one interesting thing to say about yourself? What can I say? People are easily impressed. Impressed by what? Someone who actually tries. That's really all I do. Okay, I may be new here, but I have been to high school before, and I'm pretty sure that's not what ma it makes someone popular. It does make you uh, better than everyone else. Ah, so there it is. You're Now you're, aren't you humble? It's not humble when everyone else is like you, how they are. Being better than them doesn't mean anything. Damn, how are you popular again? Do these people in the school like being insulted? You can be popular without anyone actually liking who you are. Ask anyone. I'm intimidating and hard to approach it. And hard to approach. But that's partly why I'm uh, cool as I am. God, it's so stupid. You don't bother me. You don't know me. Pfft. Oh well, now I'm scared. 
I don't scare people. They're just trouble to- they just have trouble talking to me. I agree with half of that. Fine, is that all? It can be, for now at least. Goodbye. Alright, see you later, Nate. Oh, so we actually get to talk to all of them. Okay. So, Jeremy. Uh, tell me about yourself. No. Yes. <sighs> Fine, what do you want to know? Uh, oh, okay. Mm, why are you here? Do you mean why I bothered showing up today or why I made this group in the first place? Let's go with both. I came because I had to. I'm in this group because no one wants to meet in the other groups. And why not? You're so charming. I'm a downer. <laughs> you don't say, is that all? I guess, whatever. Well, I wouldn't say you're a total downer. That introduction you gave was pretty funny, especially your response to Lynn. <sighs> Something wrong there, Jeremy? Do you really want to know what's wrong? What? Yes? Fine. Every time I think this school can't be any more unbearable, it tops itself. I take it that you don't like the group thing, hmm. Being stuck in a room with the school's most obnoxious people? No, I don't like that. Well, when you put it like that, it does sound pretty unfortunate. But look on the bright side, at least they're hot. <laughs> I have no words right now, oh my god. That doesn't make it better. It does for me. Okay. So, uh, haven't you been going here for very long, right? Yeah. Do you miss your old school? No. Oh. Was that school worse than this one? They're equally awful. Okay, did you have any other school in mind? No, all schools are lousy in a way or another. How about homeschooling? That'd be horrid. So what you're saying is every option is horrid. Yup. You really are a downer. I never disagree with that. Alright, well I think that that will do for now, Jeremy. See you later. Mm, um, bye. Alright, um... Hi there, Shiloh. Hiya, Lulu, what's up? Oh, nothing much. I just had to ask, what's a... Uh... Seemingly nice boy like you doing in a place like this. <laughs> you're too sweet and you're not answering <laughs> Well, you've heard about the whole click thing at SSB, right? I've heard yeah, so I don't really get into all of that You know, I try to get along with everybody People don't really want me around because of that. They think I'm annoying goody-goody teacher's pet that kind of thing Oh, how terrible is that all? I think so unless they're saying these are even worse things but about me behind my back Which I wouldn't put up past some of these people then what's up with the reaction you got when you said you like Bay? Hmm? That? That's nothing. Like I said, at the school, no one believes that someone could like everyone. You have like a specific group or a liar. That, and then I called you a liar. That's alright. Cool, I wasn't actually sorry though. <laughs> You're pretty great. And I just want to say that I know most of these guys aren't really looking forward to make friends. But I'm not like that. I'd be happy to be your friend. You know, I'm in this group because I don't want friends either. I just want to date some good-looking guys. So I'm gonna put a counter on how many times I facepalmed every time the main character says something dumb. Oh, I'm available for that too. Is that so? Well, I have to keep that in mind. I appreciate that. All right then, it was nice talking to you. See you later, Shiloh. Same, bye Lulu. Oh my God. Let's talk to Pren, cause we didn't really look at him. This guy. Hi there, Pren. Hey. Oh, that was easy. I figured you wouldn't say anything. Hmm, since you spoke, does that mean I can talk to you? I don't care. Cool, cool. Well, I was wondering why you got put into this group. Reasons? Okay, so you're not that talkative. No need to be shy. I don't bite. I'm not shy. Oh, so what's the problem? I don't want to talk to them. Or you. Why not? Why should I? They don't care about what I have to say. Uh, yeah, you're actually probably right about that. I know I am, so why should I say anything? I could have cared. You don't think I care, do you? I do think that. If I didn't care, then why am I talking to you right now? What do you want? To talk to you? About what? I already told you. I answered. Hardly. If that's not enough for you, then you should talk to someone else. Even if it's someone- Even if it is, you should- You should talk to someone else. But I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. But you've been talking to me. Oh, now you've got nothing to say again? Fine, I'll see you later, friend. Bye. Don't see me later. <laughs> what the hell? Hi, babe. Also, I just noticed that he has fucking clips in his hair. Oh my god. Hello to you as well. So why does everyone hate you? Well, that was more forward than I was expecting. Super sorry. No need to fake apologize. I don't care. As for your question, they don't like me because they can't relate to me. Amazingly enough, I don't fit in with a bunch of immature kiddos like the students here. 
The guy saying kiddos is calling other people immature. Huh. Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad I found you that funny. Oh, that's not that. Do you want to know what it is? Mm, probably not. I... It's just that your idea of what mature means is sweet. You're rather patronizing, aren't you? Just a bit, Twinkle. What? But I mean well. Can you not call me that? I don't know, can I? Oh, brother, you're a difficult one. So sorry, Cookie. Ew! Oh, no, I don't like this guy. Now I see why the other characters didn't like him. He's- uh, I don't like it when, like, like people, especially, like, asshole people, like, call, give people nicknames that they don't know. Like, that's not okay. I don't fucking like this. Wow, I see what you did there. I sarcastically apologize that way, and you're now you're- and now you're doing it. Very good. Is that all you want to know? I guess, unless there's more as to why you, you were put in this group. Mm, no, I don't think that's all. Clearly, I don't think I belong in the school's group, whether it's the cliques made up by the students or their faculty form groups. There's just no place for me here. Then why are you here? To go to school. <laughs> Who cares about making friends in high school? It's never gonna matter in the long run. Not with that attitude. Not with that any attitude. But you got a silly billy if you keep people hang if you keep the people you hung out with in high school as part of your life after it's over. This guy needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why exactly? Because chances are you were so smart you were not so smart in high school. And you're the exception for those chances. Now when did I say that? You didn't have to say it. <laughs> exactly. Alright, I'll see you later, bae. Okay, dear, bye bye. Ugh! I don't like that guy. That is the worst one so far. Hi, Everett. Uh, hi, why are you talking to me? Cuz I want to give you more personal introduction, remember? I remember, you don't remember. If you- if you did, you'd get that, and I don't care about this thing. Uh-huh. Speaking of which, that was certainly a memorable introduction you gave. And- and nothing. I just making a conversation. Look, I'm gonna be honest. Talking to me is a waste of time, and more importantly, it's a waste of my time. So why don't you go find something else to do? Well, to be honest, I just wanted to know why you were being put in this group. Not like it, like it was hard to guess, but I thought at least to check it, I checked to see if there was more to it. There isn't. Mm, are you implying that I have a crabby personality? That's crazy. Any group would have been thrilled to have me. I'm just here for Nate's sake. Really? Hell no. If I didn't. If I didn't have to be here, I wouldn't be here. Oh, so him and Nate are friends, I guess? I don't know. Huh, kind of surprised. Please. Seriously, I am. The way that Nate had just swooped in and stand up for you earlier, I totally believe that you insist on being whatever group he was in. That's not my fault. Nate interrupted me. Oh, so that's what happened? So he just interrupted you? Uh-huh. Alright then, if he hadn't interrupted you, what were you gonna say? Sorry, I haven't remembered anything you've said. What were you talking about when that happened? I'd explain it to you, but I don't think I need to. If it's the, if that's the best response that you've got, then you have you have you would have said something back. Then you wouldn't have been anything impressive. That's cool with me. That means we're done here, huh? For today, at least. See you later, Everett. I, I like I don't know how I feel about this game. I, I get that this whole game is essentially like supposed to be like a joke. Like it's 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 a comedy, right? But like, I don't- I don't know if I like the way everything is written, it's so weird. Alright, that's fine. Come back together for a minute, please. So I was thinking now I could spend a little bit of time talking as a whole. Seriously? Isn't there a first meeting for whenever this is supposed to be short? Yeah, can't you just let this end? I agree, can we just end this? <laughs> It'll only be a couple of minutes. Pran, could you come a little closer? Uh, well, I'll stay over here and keep Pran company. The rest of you can have a group discussion, now get to it. And put your phone away, Everett. The meeting isn't over yet. I know, that's why I'm using my phone to complain about it. You can do that later. Can't do that, actually. Guess I have to go back to complaining out loud. Oh, joy. Fine, maybe we'll start a conversation. <laughs> I'd really like to know the reasons why you're using a flip phone. Because smartphones are repulsive. Yeah, they're pretty lame. Uh, huh. Seriously, what's the deal with you two? Why do you agree so much? Uh, we're friends? Is that really hard to figure it out? <laughs> I thought that the people in this group didn't have any friends. I suppose it doesn't count when the there are only friends with people who won't be friends with anyone else. As if David is my only friend. I've got tons of friends. Uh-huh. Can anyone else here claim to have a friend or possibly even more than one? I have friends. Are you sad that you don't have any friends, Jeremy? No. Then why'd you sigh out of nowhere? He's always sighing no matter what. I like to hear why. The rest of us don't. That's fine. I know I don't need in this conversation. Great, you're so smart. That's something no one else would assert sarcastically say about you. Yeah, because people can actually give a real compliment, unlike you, you ugly bitch. 
This is weird. <laughs> okay, if that's what you think. Don't be such a jerk, Everett. Jeremy hasn't done anything. Normally, I tell you to fuck off, but I, if I had to pick, I'd rather listen to your garbage than his. Sheesh, can you even try to make this group work? Uh, no. And he doesn't have to. All he has to do is show up and participate. He's not obliged to treat uh, you any any differently than he usually make up this work. That's so generous of you, Starfish. Are you certain that you're not expecting a little too a little of him? You'd be different if you're in any group. This group is destined for failure either way. Wow, this would be a big moment for you then, hmm? You're very first failure. That's not my failure, it's the schools. I think we can all get along if we tried. Me too. Of course we could if everyone tried, but there are certain people in this group who cannot be moved to try any un any under circumstances. So anyone who's trying is wasting their energy in pointless endeavor. I don't know about you, but I've got better things to worry about. Please don't give up on our little group or already. Um, this group only exists because people gave up. <sighs> okay, thank you again for coming today. I really appreciate it and I hope you all be able to get to know each other much better throughout this year. And that's it. You can leave now. Finally. Same! Finally, it's over! <laughs> Remember to keep an eye out for a text and make sure to respond to me. I know we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah, we get it. And if you don't, I'll come find you in person. Uh, have a good day, you all. Bye, Lynn. So that was interesting. Yeah, I think it was better than it could have been. I don't doubt that. Well, Lulu, what did you think about your group mates? They're good looking enough. Oh my god. Oh, oh, why? Anything else? I think I might be tolerable enough too. We'll see. Oh, good. I'm, I'm glad you like them. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> sure. Though, I have something for you. Really? What is it? Here. It's their numbers, just in case you want to get in touch with any of them. Sweet. Did you even tell them that you're going to give these? No. Okay. I thought so. That's cool. I'm sure they won't mind at all. Thanks, Lynn. It's nothing. Now I'll see you soon, okay? Sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to end this right here. I don't know if I like this game or not. I see we can like interact with the, the guys whenever. So there's like options to s what we want to say and whatever. I... Here's the thing, I get it's supposed to be like a comedy otome, but I'm not really into it. I'm not really into the story and the way that it's presented, the characters that they present themselves. I know they're supposed to be dicks, so like it's supposed to be like a tsundere thing, right? Like they're assholes at the beginning, but then they eventually become like, oh, have a heart of gold and whatever. But like, none of the characters like have that. Like tsundere's, are, even though they're jerks, like look at Sam from Seduce even though he's a fucking asshole, but you can tell he's a nice guy underneath what he says. Because of the way he he presents himself to the characters and his brothers and whatever. These guys are just complete dicks. And the main character is like, Oh, I just want to date something cause, someone because they're good looking. I don't I give a shit about their personality. Like, ugh. Just make it stop. I think the only people I like here are Alicia and Missy and Lynn. Those are like the normal characters that I like. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't know how. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this game. And again, if you guys want to check out the Kickstarter or the demo um, yourself, there's a link in the description. Just let me know how it goes, cause I don't. This. I. I. I know. I know. I, I, no offense, but this game is not for me. Even though I love Otome games, just the way that this is presented, I'm not really into it. I do like the music, however, and the art style is adorable. I like that. Um, also there's like facial animations as well with the blinking and whatever. That's pretty cool. And then I also like that, that you have an option to like call the other characters and like text them. And it looks like you have money here and stuff so that you probably will be able to like go on dates or like buy stuff for uh, the main character. Uh, so that, that's pretty cool. It's just I'm not really into the story. The story is just kind of like weird to me. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can check it out. Uh, you get Patreon exclusive videos, early access to videos uh, before they go up to the public, and my Discord server so you can come talk to me and other companions. Or if you would like to check out my store, there's a link in the description as well so you can buy some artwork and I'm gonna have some new stuff on there soon. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! And because of what happened, I couldn't answer her. I feel like such a dick for not answering her before. You are a dick, Chris! What the heck? <sighs> Why did everything happen like this? I pretty much This is too sweet. It tastes like shit. <laughs> you have bad taste. I don't even know how to start explaining how wrong you are. Who gets to put the pizza 